Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead with Tara with you today. Another quick tip. So many of you are writing in saying, oh, how are you getting so many eggs? How come your birds are looking so good? Look at all those eggs. What are you doing? I'm going to give you a simple tip to make your life easier for your girls, for you, your homestead, and when that springtime weather actually finally officially hits, you'll be happy. Let's talk about it. So here's the bottom line. Your girls are not laying like they normally do, right? They probably went into molt. You've gone into winter. The days got shorter, but now we're starting to see the light, meaning the days are getting a little bit longer. Eggs could be coming back. And you know what's happening? The weather's going up, down, up, down, up, down. That is when you need to take advantage of this time to clean. Pull those funky town nesting boxes out. Guys, your girls don't need this many nesting boxes right now. Mine don't. I'm getting a phenomenal comeback on eggs, but not all my girls are laying right now, okay? They're just absolutely not. So what I have decided to do is to reduce temporarily the number of nesting boxes that I have. That creates more space for my birds, number one. And you don't have that just sitting in there getting all crazy funky town that's more for you to worry about once spring comes. Why have 10 nesting boxes when you're only getting three eggs a day and they're only using two? Right now, pick a day. Now, it's a rainy day. It's been a very foggy day, but we are rotating out the nesting boxes. I'm pulling out several big sections, dumping the stuff, letting them get some fresh air, some sunshine, a little bit of rain, not a whole lot, but I'm cleaning them. These have been cleaned. Spray them out. Spray them off. Sanitize them. Let them dry. And then start rotating them back in. Get it on a rotation. You don't need 15 million nesting boxes right now. Think about your number. You are supposed to have a nesting box, one per four hens roughly, but that may not necessarily be the case because we all know they have their own idea of where they want to lay their eggs. You're not making those girls do anything that they don't want to do. So I decided to lessen the burden. I've thought, you know what? We're going to absolutely go in. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to clean them. I'm going to sanitize them. I'm going to rotate them. And then you know what? Come the end of February into March when laying really picks up, I'm going to have all fresh, clean, sterilized nesting boxes. My area is going to look so good. And then I'm not going to have a mite issue because that is really the problem with so many people is that they wait and wait and wait. They let their coops build up. They let their nesting boxes build up. They do all of this. Some of you have to wait. I understand because the weather is so bad. But if you get any type of break at all, Get in there and take 30 minutes and just pull them out. Get them out. Clean the ones you have. Get them best you can. Pull the rest of the unnecessary nesting boxes out. And then you won't have so much to worry about later when the sun is shining. So as you can see, I have sprayed them. These are getting a little bit older, but my girls love them. Brought them out. Dumped them out. Sprayed them off. Sterilized them. I, I may spray them again before I put them back. But this is condensing down their options. So it's less for them to sit on, less for them to poop on, less for them to break eggs in, less for problems to develop. So think about it. Right now we're still in the dead of winter. Go into your coop, go into your barn, take a day or two and observe what's going on. Who is doing what? Where are the popular areas for your nesting boxes? And leave that at first. Make sure it's clean as best you can. Take the rest of them out. Don't let it be an option for them to gom up anymore. Do that today and you're going to be happy tomorrow. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a... I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> Guys, we appreciate you watching. Start working on these things now. Make good decisions for your hens. You're going to get a ton of eggs, have healthy girls, a clean barn, a clean coop. Everybody's going to be happy. We appreciate you watching here at Appalachia's Homestead, and we will see you, honey, on the next video. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching here. <laughs> Girl, are you going to behave?